It is a very special day at the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Today, we will be announcing the 2018 Hall of Fame inductees. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame has a rich history rooted in the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation, created more than 30 years ago by the six surviving Mercury 7 astronauts the goal of the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation is helping university students pursue their dreams in science, technology, engineering, and math. But America's first astronauts didn't stop there. They had another big idea, to build a place to honor the nation's space heroes, the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. It is truly an honor to partner with the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation on behalf of Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Thank you for the incredible job you have done and will continue to do to honor our nation's astronauts. Thank you for paving the next generation's road to the stars. It's an honor to be here representing the legacy of astronauts and the future that the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation supports. We're proud to support America's youth and have provided more than $4 million in merit-based scholarships to attend top universities all over the country. In April 2018, we're inducting two heroes. The 2018 United States Astronaut Hall of Fame inductees are Dr. Thomas D. Jones and Captain Scott D. Altman. These two inductees will bring the total number of U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame inductees to 95. Thomas D. Jones's fascination with flying began early in his life and led him to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs and earned a Bachelor of Science degree in basic sciences in 1977. He earned a doctorate in planetary science from the University of Arizona in Tucson in 1988, graduating Phi Beta Kappa. In 1990, Jones joined Science Applications International Corporation in Washington, D.C. as a senior scientist. He performed advanced program planning for NASA's Solar System Exploration Division, investigating future robotic missions to Mars, asteroids, and the outer solar system. Jones became a NASA astronaut in July 1991. His first space shuttle mission was STS-59 aboard Endeavour in April 1994. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, observing the changes of planet Earth. On that mission, he ran science operations during the night shift and marked the first flight of the Space Radar Laboratory. On STS-68 in October 1994, Jones was payload commander. Three, two, one and lift off of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on a mission to study the Earth's ever-changing environment. Once again, flying on Endeavour, the flight was the second for the Space Radar Laboratory. Jones next flew in late 1996 on Columbia during the STS-80 mission. It was on that flight that he set a shuttle endurance record of nearly 18 days in orbit. During the mission, he used Columbia's robotic arm to release the Wake Shield satellite and later grapple and retrieve it from orbit. His final space flight was aboard Atlantis on STS-98 in February 2001. Jones and his crew delivered the U.S. Destiny Laboratory module to the International Space Station. 
He helped install the lab during a series of three spacewalks lasting more than 19 hours. The successful addition of Destiny gave the first expedition crew the largest space outpost in history and marked the start of onboard scientific research aboard the space station. Jones retired as a NASA astronaut in 2001 with a total mission time of 53 days and 48 minutes and three spacewalks. Dr. Thomas D. Jones's accomplishments as a successful scientist, researcher, and astronaut with NASA embodies what it means to be a member of the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. When America's Mercury astronauts were taking NASA's first step into space, Scott D. Altman was growing up in Pekin, Illinois. In those early years, he was fascinated with the idea of flying. Wanting to learn everything he could about airplanes, Altman earned a degree in aeronautical and astronautical engineering at the University of Illinois. It was there where he decided to pursue a career in the U.S. Navy as a naval aviator. While based at Air Station Miramar in San Diego, California, Altman had a role in the movie Top Gun, flying an F-14 Tomcat as Tom Cruise's character in the film. The Navy recognized Altman's piloting skills, selecting him for the Navy Test Pilot School, where he graduated in June 1990. Five years later, Altman was selected by NASA as an astronaut. Altman's first space shuttle mission was STS-90 in April and May of 1998. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a mission expanding our knowledge and understanding of the human nervous system. He served as pilot for the 16-day mission of the European Space Agency's Space Lab. Two years later, the STS-106 crew of Atlantis lifted off with Altman, again serving as pilot during the September 2000 flight to the International Space Station. Altman was commander of the shuttle Columbia in March 2002 for a mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. The orbiting observatory was updated with improved solar arrays, a new camera, and a power control unit. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. A final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. As commander of STS-125, Altman commanded Atlantis on a return mission to the Hubble Space Telescope, spending 13 days upgrading instruments. Main gear touchdown. Following STS-125, Altman served as chief of the exploration branch of the astronaut office. In this role, he participated in the development of NASA's next human-rated spacecraft, the Orion, designed to take astronauts to the moon and Mars. Captain Scott D. Altman, with his numerous accomplishments as a Navy pilot, astronaut, and leader in NASA and industry, embodies what it means to be a member of the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. On April the 21st, you're invited to what promises to be a truly unforgettable day as Dr. Thomas D. Jones and Captain Scott D. Altman are joined by a roster of astronaut legends for the induction gala and ceremony. Please mark your calendars for the induction ceremony and the formal gala on April the 21st. Again, congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Scott. We'll see you all in April to celebrate.